Let's break it down. External bleeding. If the person is bleeding in front of you and we just don't have time to create a dressing and a bandage, what I want you to do is quickly have the person direct pressure themselves on their own wound. Tell them to direct pressure and push hard on their wound to stop the blood flow. If you have an improvised dressing or bandage, use it like a t-shirt or anything that you can find that's clean and have them direct pressure themselves while you create a dressing and a bandage. All right, Abbas, let's do it. Grab your dressing, put it over the wound, direct pressure. Make sure that you are directing enough pressure to stop the blood flow. This is the most important part of bleeding control. Check for adequate circulation to the extremity before bandaging. While maintaining pressure with your hand, grab the bandage, place the middle of the bandage on top of the wound, on top of your hand, push down, switch hands. Now wrap the bandage around the arm. Very good. Keep going. Good job. Excellent. And bring the knot to the middle. Good work. And that it stops the blood flow. Now you can ask the person, how does this feel? Is this too tight? Do you feel numbness or tingling in your hand? Also, you could push their fingernail down. As you push down, it will go white. And when you release, it will go pink again. If it takes a long time for that pink to come back, uh, we're gonna loosen the bandage and we're gonna make sure that we can allow a little bit more blood flow to go into that hand. All right, let's do another capillary refill check. Check their fingernails and let go. Yep, a much better. Okay, improved circulation. Excellent work.